Welcome to Internet Quality Academy. The channel is for the quality control engineer, site engineer, and the civil engineer who were working in the construction field. In this channel, we are dealing with anything and everything which is required to get success in the construction industry. Today also, I'm going to discuss about a very important topic that every quality control engineer and civil engineer should know that what is the management principle? On what basis the quality management system or the quality management principle has been made or the ISO 9001 has been made? So it is very much important to know what is the management principle and it is mentioned in the ISO 9001-2000 principle. In this video, I will discuss each and everything, what is the principle of each and every activities and what is the expectation and what is the needs. So stay tuned until the end to get the full information about the management principle or quality management principle. So what is the quality management system that first we want to know the quality management system is the systematic approach to deliver a project or deliver a product or service as per the client requirement or exceed the end user that means it is a systematic approach to deliver the product or service which is to be delivered to the end user as per their requirement or exceed their expectation. That is the quality management uh, system. Now, see, so quality management system has the seven principles. Based on that seven principle, quality management system has been prepared. So, what is that quality management principle? That we will discuss one by one. First is the customer focus. So, in any business, customer is the end. So customer has to be satisfied. If the customer ha is happy, then repeated customer will come or repeated business will come. So any organization is thriving for the business. So it is very much important to get the repeated business from the same uh, customer so what is the principle of the customer focus that organization depends on their customer and should strive to understand current and future customer needs meet customer requirement and exceed customer expectations so in customer focus in any company the quality management uh, systems they should know what is the customer requirement see that is why the in the market every day new new product is coming because it is as per the customer requirement if that such like an uh, apple they are inventing and they are giving uh, the revised version apple iphone 15 iphone 16 it's like that so why because they are in evolving as per the customer requirement so that it can exceed the customer requirement and they are getting more business so ultimately customer Customer will from the customer, any organization will get the business. So it is to be mentioned that any product or service that customer requirement to be fulfilled or it should exceed the customer requirement. So how it can be? The first is understanding needs. Of course, I am a construction person, so I can give an example from the construction that our construction company regularly surveys its client to understand their specific needs and for preference such as timely delivery and eco-friendly material. So understanding the needs. So we need to first uh, to know what is the needs of the customer. So that is why it is survey is very important that we are asking for the uh, customer survey or customer satisfaction survey. So they will inform the whether they are satisfied or not with, or whether their feedback that such like that uh, timely delivery they want, they want eco-friendly user, they are uh, lead compliance. So whatever the requirement, they will inform and accordingly, we need to redefine our process. Then exceeding expectations, the company ensures that projects are completed before deadlines and offers additional service like post-construction support, enhancing customer customer satisfaction so that also need to be ensuring that the customer focus part that is the first principle of quality management system that uh, we need to know the customer requirement and we need to plan our process and we need to uh, deliver the project or deliver the product or the services as per their requirement or exceeding their expectation the first principle is the customer focus the second principle is the leadership see without the leadership no nothing can be happen if there is no leadership the people will work as per their own in the different different direction so the ultimate goal will not be achieved so to achieve that one it is very much important the 
part that is a leadership part they have the play a very vital role in the quality management system what is the principle that leaders establish a unity of purpose and directions for the organizations they create and maintain an internal environment where people can become fully involved in achieving the organization objective so as per the customer requirement the leadership is for developing the process of how this product or services will be delivered and they engage the people or the employees to deliver the project or work on that process so that the customer satisfaction or customer expectation can meet the leadership team at a manufacturing company communicates the clear vision of becoming a leader in sustainable production motivating employees to innovate in reducing waste so what is the process to be delivered the reducing waste timely delivery so that all has the part of leadership they need to innovate this process and they need to incorporate all these things towards the employee so that they can work together and then empowering employees leaders and delegate responsibly to provide it the necessary resources and training allowing to teams to make decisions that align with the company's quality goals. Now, the leadership has set the goal as per the customer requirement. Now, it has to circulate to all, the, all people who are working in this organization. So how this should be provided by the training and the resources so that everybody will be working on towards the common goal and towards a common process or the established process so that the end product or the services will be as per the customer requirement. So these are the part of the leadership. So second, third principle is engagement of people. Now, all we know that the resource is required to deliver any product or service. This resource is the main resource is the people or the employee. Without the uh, engagement of people, it is impossible to deliver the product or the service. Maybe leadership is good. Maybe the process is phenomenal. But if the people are not engaged, that means everyone who are involving in the process not align with the process or they are not engaging, then the product or service will not be delivered as per the requirement. So what is the engagement of people? The principle is that uh, competent, empowered and engaged people at all levels of the organizations are essential to enhance the organization's capability to create and deliver value. That means see there is a process and there is a purchasing process there is a commercial part there is a quality part there is a planning part so there are different different people working in any organization for the process so we need to employ or we need to engage people who are empowered and uh, who are competent for every areas of the process otherwise then will be a problem or there will be error in the process and the end product will not meet the customer requirement. So that is why we need to engage people who are empowered and they are knowledgeable and they are known about the organization goal or they are known about the policy, they are known about the process so that they can deliver the product as per the requirement. So employee involvement, how? Suppose a software company developed firm involves its developers and testers in early stages of project planning, valuing their insight to forces potential qualities issues. So they are will find out what is the potential issues can be arise. Then recognition, the company recognize and reward employees who suggest process improvement, fostering culture of continuous improvement. So that is why the, the recognition is another way to engage people for the training, that's for the engagement of employee and then recognition. It's, it can be in a recognition in a prize or something or some uh, promotion or some salary hike, whatever it. So it is boost to the moral of the company and it will become if employee of the moral of the employee is boosted up, they will follow the leadership and they will follow the process and the end product will be as per the client requirement. So the fourth principle is the process approach. That means, what is the principle? The a desired result is achieved more effectively when activities and related uh, resources are managed as a process. The process approach involves understanding the managing interrelated processes system. Suppose I'm giving just an example. Suppose you want to do the concrete. Now there is a process and the sub process involved in the concrete. First, we need to do the mixed design. Then we need to select the RMC vendor. We need to audit the RMC vendor whether they can uh, deliver the project 
project as per the requirement. Right? Then we need to do the um, trial mix. We need to do the test and then it has to approve the trial mix. Now the concrete purchase, the concrete production, concrete uh, delivered, concrete transportation. These are all everything to be um, uh, in process, in the principle or already in the process so that there will be no uh, delay or there will be no error in the process. So the process approach is that the process should be as that the end product of the services to be as per the requirement. So the first is the principle, then defining the process. Then a healthcare provider defines clear processes for patient and take diagnostic treatment and follow up to ensure consistency and high quality uh, care. So that means so every steps and every is to be a process so that from the step one to, uh, to the step 10, what will be the process? That should be the process action and that should be in a well manner that this is my process and this process to be followed. Then process optimization. The provider uses data analysis to identify bottlenecks in uh, patient care and streamline process to reduce the times and improve patient outcome. So now, every time it has the chance for the improvement. So how it can be improvement? To collect the data, collect the feedback from the uh, end user and optimize the process so that the next process or the next uh, outcome will be more as per the uh, present one. So this is the process approach. The fifth principle is improvement. So what is the principle of improvement? That is successful organization have an ongoing focus on improvement. Continuous improvement is a permanent objective of the organization. See, we have uh, find out the customer focus. We have made the leadership. We have engaged people. We have made the process. Now we need to do the work as per the actual process. Now, whenever we are doing the work, there is always chance there is a human error. There is a machine error. So that can be there in the process. Now, it is our principle, our objective is to find out that defect and it again redefine the process or refine the process so that the improvement can be happen in this process so that the end products will be as per the customer requirement so what is a, that continuous feedback a retail chain implements a systems for continuous feedback so that is the one of the things how we can improve we can first things we can do the audit the process if we can find out anything difficulties or any thing not followed as per the process again we can uh, improve that process and other things we can take the feedback from the end user and we can use, uh, use that feedback for our continuous improvement so these are the fifth principle now the sixth principle is evidence-based decision making that means we will not take any decision as per the opinion yeah opinion can be always welcome but we cannot take decision as per the opinion we have to take the decision as per the evidence so effective decisions are based on the analysis of data and information organization need to base their decisions they are decision of facts, evidence, and data analysis rather than guesswork. So suppose in a construction, there is a crack is coming on the concrete. Now somebody is saying that the thermal crack, somebody is saying the settlement crack, somebody is saying the shrinkage crack. So whatever it can be a one person opinion. But if we are taking that one as and taking or the expert uh, uh, trial mix or expert uh, uh, observation, then we need to find out what is the curing time, what is the curing period, what is the uh, environmental condition, what is the deshattering condition. So all these has to find out. And then what is the admixture use? What is the uh, temperature when the, it is poured the concrete, what is the environment temperature, that all data has to collect and we have to find out why this crack is happened. So that is why we cannot take any people opinion. Yeah, opinion is always welcome. They can give their suggestion, but whatever we are taking the decision, that should be on fact and that should be on the data and analyzing the data. Now, data documentation is, uh, suppose it's a logistic company uses data from GPS uh, tracking and delivery times to optimizing routes. So they are taking the data to optimizing the routes. So, uh, with, we are all using the Google map for the using. So they are continuously developing, they're continuously analyzing the data and they are providing the best route where the traffic is less and the uh, shortage route they are providing based on the driven the data. So these are the evident based decision making or the principle number six. And the seventh principle is 
relationship management now it's a very very important because if there is no relation then there will be no business so for sustained success organization manage their relationship with interested parties such as supplier partners and customers are well managed relationships brings mutual benefits now any project whenever doing we are getting from the client and we alone we cannot do that on what we need to take from the supplier from the material we can take some of the supplier subcontractor we have to engage labor supplier we have to engage so there are different different parties involved in the project so we need to make a very very good relation with them in order to deliver the project as per the requirement if there is no good not good relation what will happen they will not get motivated and they will not engage their resources in the project and our projects will be get delayed so that is why relationship management is very important so what is the supplier plant partnership and automotive manufacturing establishes long term partnership with key suppliers ensuring relation uh, reliable supply of high quality parts in return the manufacturer uh, provides suppliers with for uh, focused and collaborative planning opportunity so this is a long term relationship any any business is a long term relationship with the client with the supplier so we need to make that relationship with the client or the supplier so that your uh, business can grow then customer loyalty the manufacturer also build strong relationship with its customer through loyalty programs and personalized service increasing customer retention so they also give the customer customers there are different uh, program loyalty programs so that they can retain the customer the same so these are the seven principle of quality management principle that that is customer focus leadership engagement of people process approach improvement evident based decision making and relationship management so these are the all about the quality management principle and i hope you find it useful and if you find it useful kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get immediate notifications and i'm waiting for your valuable comment so that from your valuable comment everybody will be benefited and if you want to know anything more about quality control and construction please let me know i will come with more content like this and thank you once again for watching me